Depth estimation is an important open problem with applications to scene understanding, facial recognition, and autonomous driving. Traditional techniques include those based on stereo or multi-view, camera motion, or active illumination. However, each of these methods has its own drawbacks, including requiring multiple cameras or exposures, expensive scanning setups, or active illumination. Monocular depth estimation overcomes these challenges by requiring only a single RGB image to recover dense metric depth. However, monocular depth estimation is an ill-posed problem with inherent scale ambiguity. This inherent scale ambiguity is a well-known issue with monocular depth estimation. In this diagram, a camera looking from a single vantage point cannot disambiguate between the true scene and a scaled down scene that is proportionally closer. Previous work has shown that giving monocular depth estimators access to ground truth depth statistics improves their performance, but such statistics are not usually available in practice. However, modern RGB cameras often ship alongside sensors that capture some 3D information. For example, the iPhone X includes a proximity sensor, which uses a pulsed laser and a single photon avalanche diode, or SPAD, to estimate the depth of a single point in front of the sensor. Specifically, the laser emits a short pulse of light, which scatters off of a single scene point. The SPAD captures light returning from that point and records the round trip travel time, and hence the depth. In this work, we propose to use such a sensor in a slightly different configuration. We diffuse the laser to illuminate all scene points and record the reflected light with a diffused SPAD. The SPAD measurement, or transient, resembles a histogram of the depth map of the scene. Further capturing a monocular RGB image, we can now use the transient to correct its inherent scale ambiguity. To do this, we propose the following RGB SPAD sensor fusion strategy. Beginning with a single RGB image and SPAD transient, we pass the RGB image through a monocular depth estimator to acquire an initial depth estimate. We also generate an estimate of the scene reflectance at the laser wavelength and combine the depth and reflectance to compute a reflectance weighted depth histogram. We pre-process the SPAD transient and use it together with the reflectance weighted histogram to compute a depth shifting matrix that describes how to change the depth values in the initial estimate to agree with the SPAD transient. Finally, we apply this matrix to our initial estimate to form our final prediction. We simulate a SPAD transient using the ground truth RGB and depth images. In this example, a conventional monocular depth estimator gets the depth ordering correct, but scales the depths incorrectly. Global rescaling to match the ground truth median reduces RMSE, but shifts the problem region to the window. Matching the output of the CNN to the ground truth depth histogram correctly adjusts both countertop and window, but requires access to ground truth depth. Finally, our method achieves comparable results to ground truth histogram matching and reduces the RMSE by over 50% compared to the CNN alone. Here's another result showing the same trends. We extensively evaluate our method in simulation. Our method outperforms the initial depth estimate and median rescaling, performing similarly to the ground truth histogram matching across several monocular depth estimators. Please see the paper for more details. We also built a hardware prototype and evaluated our method on real-world data. The image for the monocular depth estimator is captured using the RGB camera of a Kinect V2 and a SPAD, which shares an optical path with a pulsed laser. The laser emits a pulse of light, which is guided by the Galvo towards the scene. Returning light is captured by the Galvo and is directed via a beam splitter to the SPAD. We capture a ground truth depth map by raster scanning the scene and the single pixel diffused SPAD measurement is generated by summing all of these measurements together. This allows us to validate the accuracy of our algorithm, which only uses the integrated single histogram, by comparing it with a captured ground truth depth. In this scene, the monocular depth estimator predicts good ordinal depth, but with severely distorted scale. Our method matches the predicted depth to the SPAD transient, producing a much cleaner result. Here's another result confirming the trends from simulation for experimental data. This example is a flat poster depicting a 3D scene. As expected, the CNN incorrectly places the statue much closer than the arches. 
the proposed method uses the SPAD histogram to correctly flatten the estimated depth map. To assess the performance of our algorithm with a real diffuse SPAD, we captured a scene with both a scanned SPAD and optically diffused SPAD and reconstructed both depth maps against the ground truth of the connect. We observed near identical performance of our algorithm when using the real diffuse transient as when using a scanned and summed transient. For more details, please refer to the paper. With this work, we present a practical way to disambiguate depth estimation with RGB images using minimal additional sensing hardware and take a step towards making monocular depth estimation more robust and practicable.